gotta get on your job, tell them haters get on your job, nigga. Motivation, nigga, get on your job, tell them haters get on your job, nigga. Motivation, haters better get on your job, tell them haters get on your job, nigga. Motivation, suck them nigga, get on your job, if you haters get on your job, nigga. If you can look me in my eyes, see I'm ready for whatever, anything don't kill me. Wednesday, happy hump day to you all, man. I hope everybody's up well and, and getting ready to get after it. Today is going to be a beautiful and blessed day. Today is going to be your breakthrough. Today is going to be the day where you know what, hey, whatever it is that you, you know, pondered in your mind, you know, that crazy idea, you're going to take that step to it. Man, well, we back. Finished our first season. Now, we, now it's the off-season time. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. This is the breakdown. X's and O's with Nate Ness. I'm your host, Nate Ness, and this is the off-season edition. So, motivation. What is your motivation? Because today, the new league year actually starts. At 4 p.m. today, standard on the East Coast time, the new league year begins. So, what's your motivation? The season just ended. You know, congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams, uh, Super Bowl champions, going out there and just doing it. Aaron Donald has a Hall of Fame career already as, uh, you know, resume as is. And going out there and cementing his legacy with that championship ring. And just having a, 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 a just beautiful performance. Him, Cooper Cup, uh, Matthew Stafford showed up, Von Miller. You know, congratulations to Coach McVay and, and the Rams organization and staff on really just doing it. But, you know, it made me think. Motivation. Each year you play the game, your motivation is to hoist that Vince Lombardi trophy. That, that, that's the most important thing. I mean, you don't play the game. Again, you go out there to play the game for championships. You go out there for the competition. Again, it, it's, it's, it's a drug. It, it, it's a high that, that cannot be matched. And it all starts in the offseason. And it just made me think, the Rams this time last year, they made a trade for a quarterback. They felt that they had the pieces all in place. Championship defense had all of the skill positions, you know, uh, the players surrounding, but they needed a, a quarterback to lead them. And what did they do? They, they pulled off one of the biggest trades in all the offseason, and they traded for Matthew Stafford. You know, sent the first round pick to the Detroit Lions and Jared Goff to the Detroit Lions for Matthew Stafford. But in that, tra that trade in itself, for Les Snead and Coach McVay, it paid off dividends in his first year. You know, now it was a season in, uh, in which, you know, you had your ups and your downs, but again, perseverance. And they persevered through, through trial and tribulation and, and made their way to the Super Bowl and became the second team to win their own Super Bowl, or, excuse me, win a Super Bowl in their own stadium. So, wow. You know, congratulations to the Rams. You know, but again, it's off season now. You got head coaches in, in new places, you know, trying to build their teams and, and their franchises, you know, trying to really just, you know, put the best product out there. You have trades, you got releases, and you got signings, you got all these things. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the goal in, and the goal in itself, the main goal, of course, is to be the next team to hoist that Vince Lombardi. That's the motivation. If you're a team that made it to the playoffs, oh man, cool. What can we do the next year to where we can be the team playing in the, in the Super Bowl or make it even further in the playoffs? Or the team that did not make it to the playoffs, what do we have to do to, to, to get this team better? What players do we need to surround ourselves with? You know, what, what, what scheme schematically on offense and on defense do we need to like, you know, improve on? Or do we need to go in the draft? You know what I'm saying? Or free agent signings, again, it's been a lot of things uh, that, that, that tie into this offseason program. But again, it all comes down to the motivating factor. The motivating factor is that, you know, you want to be that player. You want to be that coach that, that, that at the end of it, when it's all over and said and done with, that you're hosting, hoisting that Vince Lombardi trophy. Now, this season, or excuse me, this year right now, the league year it hasn't even really officially started. Well, we've already had some amazing signings. We have had some things that that crazy things happen, but that's football for you. That really is football for you. You know, we got we got Tom Brady, the goat, the greatest of all time, returning, unretiring, and returning to the Bucks for his 23rd season. Got Aaron Rodgers just broke the bank for four years, 200 million. Russell Wilson, something I I did not see happening, being traded from the Seattle Seahawks for two first round picks and two second round picks to the Denver Broncos. Didn't also see my boy Bobby Wagner, man, hell of a ball player, Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, 
being released by the Seahawks. And Carson Wentz traded from the Indianapolis Coast to the Washington Commanders. Man, I'm telling you, this is, uh, again, the new, the new league year has not started, and we've already seen some movement and some crazy things happening. But, again, that's the motivational part. That's the part right there in itself where, you know, teams, coaches are just really motivated. You know, you see this team right here when it's all said and done, having with the confetti coming down, you know, just really celebrating. And, and, and you want that. That's the motivating factor. As a, as a player, as a former player myself, you know, watching the Super Bowl, being a fan of the game in itself, but wanting that opportunity, just wanting it and, and just thriving, you know, just lusting and thirsting for that opportunity just to play in the playoffs and make it to the Super Bowl. That's why you go out there and, you, you know, you know off-season workouts, you, you, you're grinding and, and pushing yourself. You know, you make your goals before the season starts, to, to, and, and that's the main goal. Is to win a Super Bowl. You know, you got to win your division and get into the playoffs, get hot, win the Super Bowl, make it to the Super Bowl. That's the, the grind. That's the thing that's pushing you, that motivates you. That's the why. You know, and, and it all starts right now. You know, and, and again, so many different factors that factor into, you know, the offseason. You know, with players being released and signed or, or traded, you know, uh, the draft. You know, at the end of the season, seeing where your cap is at, seeing where, where, where your team stacked up last season and what areas you need to improve in. You know, whether it's players or, 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 or getting different coaching in, in, in the building. I mean, again, these are all the motivating factors, you know, for, for organizations, for players, for coaches. Because, again, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. But the question does remain, you know, does it really – I mean, everybody wants to get their money, but is it important to is it important to to get you know what get break the bank, or is it important to like you know if you're if you're playing the game, are you playing it for that hardware? You know, so that's one of the you know the the, the questions that that you add, ask yourself every year. But again, this is about to be an amazing off season. We already seen some great moves. Deshaun Watson is back. Um, Houston has got some you know some suitors for him. And they're they're about to get their fielding offers right now, and this is the interesting yet exciting part of the game, the off season. Now we don't see any football, but we see the football moves. You see all of this done on paper and whatnot, and you know, t uh, players or excuse me, players and fans alike are excited, are getting excited. Once you see you know the shaping and the molding of your team and how it's going to be, you're getting excited. And again, it's about to be a, an amazing season. I'm so excited for. That's the motivation. But again, I got my first season done, man. I'm so excited for this part of this chapter going into year two. Uh, thank you guys for all of your support, your, your love, your, your just encouragement during this journey. I hope everybody has a great and beautiful Wednesday hump day. You know, hey, listen, we halfway there. We just got to keep trucking. Hey, hey, keep putting your head down and keep going. Whatever it is you're going after, hey, don't stop. Cross all your T's, dot all your I's, put your periods, your comments everywhere, and don't let the day go by without being a blessing to somebody. Don't let the day go by without making, uh, taking those necessary steps to, again, achieve certain goals, aspects in your life. Thank you. Everybody have a beautiful and blessed day, and this is The Breakdown, X and O's with Nate Ness. Everybody, y'all be easy.